Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Lindsay with Love Book Triangle here. I just wanted to do a video before tonight because I am celebrating another Christmas and hopefully there's another book in my future. But I just wanted to come do a quick video, see how your guys' weekend is going, and yeah, so let's get started. I told you guys in some of my other videos that I like making bookish crafts, so I thought today I would just show you some of the things I like to do. And it all kind of started when I first moved into my apartment. My friends came over and gave me a little housewarming gift. This was one of them. It's a canvas and it has the names of characters from the Mortal Instrument series. And that's the series that I love and had started reading at the time. So they made me this with all the characters' names on it. And that's just kind of where I got started with my canvases and my book crafts. And here's one of my favorites. I had told you with my bookshelf, my short mini bookshelf, that I had put some pictures from a movie picture book from The Hunger Games, and this was the first thing I did with those pictures. I put together a whole big canvas for The Hunger Games movies. I just really love what they did with the movies, and I want to make a canvas to represent that. So here's that. I just bought my canvases from Michael's. They always have really good sales. There's always coupons. And one time my friends and I went to Michael's and they just so happened to be having this amazing sale on canvases. And two Sharpie shopping carts later, we came out with a whole bunch of canvases. We just needed something to do with them now and this is one I'm glad I picked this nice big long size because there are lots of good pictures from the movies to put on there and I like that I use some quotes or that the book had quotes quotes itself to add to it too but so that's one of my favorites I have hanging up in my living room on my wall another series that I really like is Twilight especially New Moon because Jacob's in a lot. I'm team Jacob. So I made this little one. It kind of faded over time because I have it in my living room where the sun comes in. So the pages turned a little yellow, but hey, gives a character. But this one, I add some glitter and I like to use the book, the title page, because I think that gives a little something to it too. Um, I underlined different parts on the pages that I liked just showing that oh it's some of my favorite stuff from the book and that's my new moon canvas. Here's another Shadow Hunter canvas. Again I told you guys in another video I got my books at like half price books, Goodwills, other thrift shops because you don't want to be spending a lot of money on books that you're going to be tearing up. And besides the book pages I use the canvases that I got from Michaels and I just use Mod Podge that you could get as at Michaels as well and always look for those coupons because that always helps greatly. And I just use the basic paintbrush to Mod Podge the pages on. I usually put Mod Podge on the back of the page so I could get it onto the canvas and then once all my pages, details, all my underlines done, the glitter's put in place once everything's on. I do a, a few layers of Mod Podge on the top. Uh, put a layer on, let it dry, put another layer on, let it dry. Do a couple layers to try to keep it in place. Now this one is with the City of Ashes book from the Mortal, Instru the Mortal Instrument series again. And here also just did some like outline, try to give it a little detail, give some texture, and I like that I used the book cover because I think that gives it a little something, it really pops out against the book pages. And again, this one is a little yellow as well because it also sits in a place where the sun comes in, but hey, that's okay. I mean, it's going to get worn over time anyway, right? Then, another one from The Hunger Games. It is the song that Katniss sings when Rue gets killed. So I liked that a lot. So I put it on a little canvas and I actually have it sitting on my Hunger Games shelf next to my pops and all the books. 
And then here is a bigger canvas that I did for, oops, sorry, it's upside down. It's for the, the Infernal Devices series. The first one, Clockwork, Angel, Team Will. And this one I just kind of kept simple because it was the first one I was doing for the series. And again, I just underlined some things that I liked on the pages that I use. And I put the cover of the book on, so I was happy I was able to do that. And I actually did one for each book of the series, and I have that hanging up in my bedroom. And here, going with the Shadow Hunter series again, I have a little frame. I either got this from Michael's or Rummage Sale, I can't remember, but I mean, regardless, Michael's has frames like this as well, but this one has a little stand on it, or you can hang it up. And this one, I just put some pages around the frame, and I actually got to meet Cassandra Clare, if you saw or heard that in my first video, and I want to put a picture of me and her in the middle there. I just haven't gotten around to actually printing off photos. And then one last thing that I'm going to show you guys is not a canvas, but it's also something I Mod Podged. I got it at Michael's, again, and it's something that I hang in my hallway. And the border I Mod Podged the book pages on. I tried to do this ombre thing in the middle with the paint, but I realized as I was painting it, I didn't have enough paint for some of the colors that I wanted to use, so... That's a little messy. I'll probably redo that in the future. But I like this because on it, it has the little strings that you could attach, little clothespins. And got these in the past at craft stores as well. And just gives a little detail when you're hanging stuff up. And I have hung up my some of my wristbands from when I went to BookCon. Because those are special to me and I couldn't throw those away. And just some other swag that I have gotten or... My friend, she made some stickers for this book that I really liked and other signed bookmarks and fun things from authors. And I just like that's a fun way to display these other things that I have versus just having it sit on my bookshelf. So yeah, I, that's just some of the book crafts that I like to do. And like I said, remember, find the books cheap so you don't feel bad about tearing them up. And there's so many pages in a lot of these books, so there's so many crafts, so many different things that you could be doing with them. And yeah, I hope to maybe next time show you guys some other things that I like to do, some other bookish crafts, because there's a whole world of possibilities out there. And I hope everyone has a really great weekend. See you next time.